Hello, my name is Joseph Peoples, and I am a first grade educator in the Germantown area of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I've been a student of Chansa Ismail's uh, traditional Chinese martial arts and philosophy, Tai Chi Tran, um, and Salat for 19 years. Uh, it's been through his teaching, uh, even when I was a when I was a kid, when I started, uh, that I have learned really the value of keeping a healthy body, keeping a healthy mind and a healthy spirit, and how to do all of those things, um, really to make it a way of life. And it's also been through his teaching that I that I found my profession as well, um, that I found my profession, my personal profession of, of it being, edu being an educator. Uh, it's been through the meditations that I've learned from Chansa Ismail that have um, calmed my mind in, in difficult times and even pushed my mind as well and pushed me to achieve you know even greater heights and even higher potential and it's all of those philosophies really that have worked for me that i bring into my profession that i bring into the classroom that i bring to uh, my students um, whether they are a a student that is you know uh, ready to achieve their highest that are that is is ready and prepared with all the resources that they need to do so or if it's a student that is struggling and, and lacks those resources um, in all of those areas, truly, Chansa Ismail's teachings have, have helped me and have guided me towards just a path that has been right for me and a path that has been righteous. Thank you. Tell me about Ismail Sadat. Shantsu, there's the martial artist and then there's the man. As a martial artist, I think the consensus, even among fighters of other disciplines, was that he was extremely talented and skilled. But honestly, I learned more from him as a person than anything else. Those are the lessons I remember. How so? First of all, he was probably the most naturally funny person I've ever met. Not like a comedian who thinks of jokes, but it was all organic. This was quite useful because it made it easy for people to accept his advice. And I'm smiling right now because I'm thinking of things that he told me when I was in class. As a teacher, however, the biggest lessons I learned were by example. He never taught us something unless he believed it in himself. If he showed you technique, it was because he tried that technique and it worked. If he preached kindness, it's because he was kind. And if he talked about honesty, you'd see that very quality when dealing with him, if there was a problem, or even with money. His lessons matched his actions. I know this sounds really simplistic, but that conviction, I think, is what made him so effective. It's probably the reason why he had attracted so many people. His classes were typically diverse, people from all different backgrounds and nationalities. What's that quote that you love? There are many. Uh, my best friend and I still recite them until today. But the one that stayed with me the most was a subtle remark he once made during class. He was advocating to us about the pursuit of excellence in all avenues, whether it was your job or Kung Fu or your family, and even doing the right thing, even if it got you into trouble. And he said something that I'll never forget. I'm going to paraphrase this, but it's the one quote I remember the most. He said, I made a decision long ago that I'm ready to die for the things I believe in. Everyone in the room was shook because we all knew he meant it. And there are very few people who are actually that real. In the short time I was there, I saw about a dozen people completely change their lives. I'm not just talking about physically, but intellectually and even spiritually. Honestly, I've never seen anything like that anywhere else. Hello, my name is Joe Thomas. I am a retired uh, divisional operations analyst for a large pharmaceutical company. And I have known uh, Ismail Sadat for about 15 years and have come to trust him as a master teacher in the principles and forms of traditional Northern and Southern style Kung Fu. I particularly trust him to teach us uh, not only how to do the forms and the physical aspect, but how to live the spiritual aspect. He is a man of impe impeccable moral principles and lives as well as teaches these principles to us. I'm very, very thankful to have him as my teacher. Um, I wholeheartedly trust him and have seen him work with children, teenagers, and adults, helping them become better people. And it certainly has made a tremendous impact in my life. And I'm really glad to call him my master teacher and to uh, follow his example of living these principles in my life every day. Thank you. Hello, my name is Rich Fulmer. I've had the great fortune to be a student under Chansu Ismail Sadat for the last 18 years. 
Over this time, Chansu has been there for myself and other students, not only as a teacher of the art of Shaolin Kung Fu, but as a mentor in all aspects of life. Chansu has always been a trustworthy advocate and resource for any of the students and their families. As a full-time registered nurse working in a hospital throughout this year's pandemic, a key aspect of my job has been to re remain calm, continually observe, and stay sharp in my actions during emergency situations. And through Chansu's teachings, I've been able to master the task of controlling my mind and emotions in the most extreme circumstances, as well as acting as a role model to my peers. Martial arts is more than just physical exercise and self-defense. It is a way of life. The skills acquired can be transferred to any situation you may encounter. The way Chansu teaches these lessons, leads by example, and believes all the lessons that he teaches us is what helps us succeed in all aspects of life. Hey y'all, what's up? Xiaowu Jinxian. It's Cam here. And I would like to report how Chan Su changed my life. You know, I've been around since the 90s. And Chan Su helped me from thick and thin, from when I had my first child until now. He's the best person I know. He's I he's more like an uncle than than a teacher. But I love him very much. My family loves him very much. And there's no better place to be than Shaolin Tuan Fa Salun Pai Huan. Yo, this is Cameron Brown, just letting you know. I'm still here, and I'm just waiting to say hi to everybody because I miss everybody, and Miss Chun said especially. I'll talk to y'all later. Hello, my name is Joe Carroll, and I'm a student of Teacher Ishmael Sadat's Kung Fu School. I've been a student since 1983, and because of his outstanding teaching of martial arts and the philosophy that connects the two, it's a wonderful class and uh, it's a joy to go to every week. You always learn something new. And also, every few months we have movie night where we watch a, a classic Kung Fu movie and he explains the actors and their techniques and it's very informative. So. That's why I belong to his school and only his school. Uh, everybody take care. Have a good day. Yes, this is a short video I want to make to honor Chan Su, uh, Ishmael Sadat. Uh, I started martial arts in 84 and is now 2020. I have at least four belts in four different styles. I have many certificates from other styles of martial arts, but out of all my instructors, Chan Su is one of the uh, best uh, instructors I ever had. Um, he's more like family to me because I've been through so much with him. But if there's ever an honor that anyone should be bestowed upon is uh, Ishmael Sadat for his years of dedication to the art.